Okay, now we get to share the video. So let's go through the process of the ways in which we can share. So we click on the share button and a window comes up that allows me to either share to YouTube or Google Drive. We're gonna start with Google Drive. I can either copy the link to my Google Classroom and turn it in, or there are these privacy settings that allow me to share it in many different ways. I can make it public, but I don't recommend that. I can make it unlisted and give certain people the link and they'll be able to view it. I can also make it public at my school or domain. That means anyone who goes to my school will be able to see this video. But maybe I just want to make it unlisted for the people at my school, which means only other students who go to school with me can view this video with a link that I give them. But if I gave it to a kid at a different school, they'd never be able to see that video. Or I can choose private and keep it private only to me, which is something I do sometimes. Or I can share to YouTube. Now, as I share to YouTube, I want to be really specific about my privacy settings. The first thing I need to do is select my channel. And whether or not your school district allows that, you should be able to have your own channel. Now that I have selected which channel it's going to go to, I have to decide, is it going to be public, unlisted, or private? Public means it will go out to every person who has access to YouTube. I don't recommend this. I really like the unlisted feature, which says, if I give you a link to this video, you can watch it. And this is a really great way to share your video with your friends and family. So I recommend this one. And of course, private will make it only viewable by you. When we're ready, we can upload the video by choosing this upload video button, which will upload it to YouTube. And abracadabra, we have either shared to Google Drive or YouTube. So now it's time to go to our last and final video. I'll see you there and we'll wrap things up.